Now I'm going to come over and go and have a drive of this. Now this is a hybrid electric vehicle, uh, hybrid diesel vehicle. In fact, the, the chaps from Bido have stuck a battery in and motors on the rear wheels into this vehicle, a manual diesel vehicle, and I'm going to go and see a little bit more about it. So this is going to be the first time I've been behind the wheel of a diesel van in some years. Um, it could be a number of years, in fact, and it's a manual as well. I'm not even sure I remember how to drive one, but I'm reliably informed that it's like you're riding a bike. You just jump on and away you go. Anyway, let's go and see what this little Citroen relay will do as an electric diesel hybrid. I've seen these guys around at a few different events and I thought when I stumbled across them at Senex that I would take the opportunity and go for a drive and learn a bit more about this interesting concept. So out for a drive in the BDO van and um, I presume that's how they pronounce it. Uh, the man holding the camera can just nod. Yes, okay, we'll go with that, BDO. And um, we're heading to the Alpine circuit in Millbrook and it sounds like an electric van. I haven't had to use the diesel, which I'm quite pleased about, if I'm really honest. Um, and uh, I'm gonna avoid all the bumpy bits and, um, and we're off. It, it seems like a really good solution, at least initially anyway. So adding a battery and some in-wheel motors is a really interesting concept when you think about adding it to a manual diesel vehicle. Um, there are all kinds of things that you can do with it, you know, and it doesn't matter what you've currently got, you can add it to anything. It makes a really interesting concept. And it's just one that I wanted to explore in this little video, and that's why I'm using their footage, but uh, worth a check out. So we've learned a little bit about this van now. We've been around the, uh, the Alpine circuit on Millbrook and the power output of this particular one is um, 68 kilowatts, um, around 100 brake horsepower, which is not quite enough for the size of van. But the good news is that um, they have in-wheel motors. Now that means that we don't have you know, extra weight in the axle, all the power is delivered immediately, that's good and efficient, and they can uprate that and potentially move that higher. Um, efficiency is pretty good, 37 kilowatt hour battery getting somewhere around 70 uh, miles, which is about two miles per kilowatt hour, which is what you would expect from this kind of van. Payload of around seven to 900 kilos, obviously dependent on the size of vehicle and all of that good stuff, but it's gonna be able to meet a need, I think, and is gonna be interesting for the market.